Good afternoon, Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Good afternoon. Hi, Eduardo. Can you listen to me? Hi, I listen. I listen. Okay, very nice. I thought I was I had the problem, but no, everything is fine. No, I I am I I was no I am changing the <coughs> Wi-Fi name the the. Oh, the the. the, the. In English is seal is uh, internet. I know the don't remember. El nombre el nombre de la antena. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Very nice. You're changing it. Yeah. Okay, good. And, and yeah. talking about the, the Wi-Fi, how is the Wi-Fi connection working? Is it nice? Yeah, we, we have a, a corporate mm -hmm. um, uh, and dedicate uh, el enlace. I don't know. I okay, don't remember the, link. the word. The link, uh -huh. and the last, yeah, is corporate, <clears throat> and, and we have 40, 45 megabytes for seconds. Ah, per, per second. Per second, yeah. Wow, it's, it's very fast. And, and tomorrow we, mm -hmm. we will have uh, 70. 70, oh my God. Okay, yeah. so tomorrow. I think it's more and more, right? But the, the in in our case the the price is the same. Ah, because, because it's a corporation. Yeah, and, and we mm -hmm. and we change or renovate the okay. El cor, contrato. The contract. The contract. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, very good. So, how often do you do you um uh, do you make this contract? Like uh, every year or every no, two years? Each each two years. Ah, okay, every two years. Okay, much better. Okay, very nice. Okay, so I think your your speed is very nice. Yes, I, I mm -hmm. think so. Mm -hmm. Okay, but cool. Yeah. In my, are, in my house, mm -hmm. I, I in my house I have uh, ten, mega, ten megabytes per second. Okay, does it work? In my in my in my house. Yes, in your house. Mm, yes. Uh, you know, I, uh huh. Eventual, from, eventually there, there are times there are times that um it's not maybe the the problem with the with the service i don't know my, there must be something in the antennas right for example uh, like three months ago um i had three or two months ago more or less i i didn't have internet connection in my own the neighborhood mm. uh, well, part of my neighborhood, but just on the on the left side. And unfortunately, my house wasn't on the left side because, you know, somebody <laughs> stole the mm. cables. The cables, uh, typical. And, and they stole the, 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 the cables, so almost everybody reported that problem to the company, and they said that it would take, like, maybe a 15 days, about 15 days to recover, you know, all the cables or try to get the cables, I don't know where from. And they had to come and connect everything and everything. So uh, I had to move to my brother's house <laughs> to work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah. mostly for my English classes, right? Okay. Yeah. So sometimes Especially it's not uh, the service, right, of the companies, but people, you know. But the, the, the people stole the cables when the, well, when are the, uh, Cooper. Yeah, uh, because they sell the they sell the the, the Cooper. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that, the by Cooper. the way. Uh -huh, I didn't know that, uh, and it's quite but expensive. When, when the, yeah, it's, it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. But the, the when the cable is uh, fiber optic, mm -hmm. they don't. It's, it's, uh, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and and it's more is and it's more more fast or faster. Faster. Faster when, uh -huh. when the cable is a fiber optic. But maybe more more expensive for the companies to to for have the it. Right? To install it. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. You see, that is the, the big problem. It's like it's like the, 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 the streets 
sometimes they, there are uh, some when you are passing by the streets there are no lamps anymore yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. because they they steal the, 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 the lamps or the cake bowls so i don't know what's going on with them so that's el salvador <laughs> okay yeah. but that's it it's very nice okay to see that how was your morning as always busy or busy. there was like a little no. rest what no was last always is busy always busy do you do you usually have like a kind of day which is not that stress or busy uh i, I don't know why but the the stress is very intensive mm -hmm. in many in many times in many mm -hmm. many moments um, but i have a, a some days in the week i have a, a, a uh, other other work work uh huh work mate worker uh huh work mate uh huh worker uh, mm -hmm. it's fellow 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 is 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 a okay? fellow, fellow yeah but fellow is more used for example like someone who is very behind you you know following and every, for example what we call los 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 creyentes los hermanos etc in a church uh -huh. for example Okay. No, in this case, it's a, a, maybe a co-worker, un worker, un, traba, un empleado, employee, okay, a, a, an auxiliar, okay, okay, a person who is, or oh, assistant, depends, okay. A fellow no. is more like, uh, for example, too fan, fanatic of someone, <laughs> okay. No, no. So in that case, no, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. My wife, my wife told talk me today about fellow, fellow. Uh, fellows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fellows. Uh, uh, that word exists. To, to worker. Mm -hmm. That that yeah, word but... exists. Uh -huh. uh, in, in in an office is more more used um coworker, coworker. Co uh huh. Or oh, my co my coworker Carla is here. Yeah, I see. So well, she was here. <laughs> she got I'm, scared. I'm, I'm, yeah <laughs> i don't know what's going on yesterday there were like uh, some moments that some somebody could join us and then okay well i hope eduard eh, no eduardo no i'm sorry eh, jose can join us today jose sent a message to me that he was uh, not in his office so mm -hmm. that's why he couldn't be in the class okay do you remember jose eduardo yeah mm -hmm. I and he, the last it was week Mm -hmm. he told me he was going to be absent for about three four days but he he's watching the videos in his house and doing uh, the exercises mm -hmm. i i i can't i cannot or i can watch the video oh really the, the, i will the, resend the, i will resend the link okay yeah, because the the, the, the the first link no don't work. No, the first link didn't work. It's true because there was a problem with the with the playlist, and okay, I see? I couldn't even open it. And I told Marvin Ramirez, the person in church in this program for the online program, I told him about it, and he changed the the playlist. But I thought he had sent the new link to you. But anyways, I'm gonna resend it after the class. Okay. okay. Uh huh. Very good. Carlita, are you there? Hello, Carlita. Can you listen to me? Well, I think she's not here. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, we're going to start. Okay. Maybe the the next of the the, the, the I'm sorry. The I am here. Ah, hello, Carlita. How are you? Ready? Yeah, fine. Okay. Perfect. How was your morning? Uh, we had a, a breakfast with my team. Oh, nice. A breakfast. A okay, very good. With your co-workers. Did you celebrate something or it was just for fun? Uh, just for fun. Just for fun. That's very nice. You know, having a meeting with co-workers, that's very healthy, okay, for the environment, right? That's very nice. Yes. Claribel, how are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Claribel. Very happy to have you in my class once again. Okay, great. Oh, very Thank nice. You. Okay, great. Well, guys, uh, we are going to continue today. We finished this. Um, we finished this. Uh, uh, this topic, okay, related to 
um, to direct and indirect questions, right? Uh, yesterday we started to study, okay, this topic and we were discussing about common questions used when you visit um, a city, a new city, okay? It, it would be, you know, like a, a, a city in El Salvador or out of El Salvador or somewhere. But mostly it's more used when you travel to a country where English is spoken, okay? So you could practice your English, you know, and you could have a lot of opportunities, right? A other place that I consider you can practice your English a lot is in the beach, right? When you see tourists. I don't know if you like to talk to tourist people uh, when, they, when they are in the beach and when you go to the beach. Okay, for example, Carlita, can you, do you have the opportunity or have you ever had the chance to talk to an American person in El Salvador? Well, when I see tourists or Americans, I don't know, I feel a little shy to, to talk oh, to really? them. <laughs> really? You, 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 you are shy? Yes. Okay, you never uh, talk to, to them? Talk, uh, uh -huh. Ah, okay, tourists, okay. I don't know, I... I feel like, like, no. Uh -huh, like they, I can imagine. Uh -huh, they, uh -huh. Like, like, like if you, you, you don't have, or you don't know how to start a conversation. Or maybe, yes, yes. I don't know. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's common. It sometimes happens to me. You know, once I was traveling by bus, it was a long time ago when I was studying at the university, I was traveling in a bus. And suddenly, one cobrador, right, said, okay, stop. And a mochilero, a backpacker, got into the bus. And he said, Metro Seno, Metro Seno, And he said, what's going on there? And Micro El Bucero le dice, yo no te entiendo, gringo, le dice. He said, yo, ir. Metro Centro, decía. So he wanted to go to Metro Centro, right? And in my in my mind, it was like, it is, come on, it's the opportunity for you to practice your English, ask questions, help, help. But I was very shy. I was very shy. And I and I remember the man said, ah, váyase para atrás, le decían, váyase para atrás. I, and the guy was like very, I don't know, he was, he was very like uh, nervous. Uh, he seemed like, um, you know, frightened because he didn't know the, the bus uh, system, you know, in El Salvador. But I didn't speak to him. I don't know. I was, I was very cold <laughs> and I lost the opportunity. So I understand, Carlita, that sometimes we feel like very shy to talk. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes we don't know how to start a conversation. Yeah. Because if I say, hi, where are you going? <laughs> I don't know. I'd say, I don't know. Sometimes I, but I, in that moment I say, gosh, poor guy. Lo van a pasar llevando, dije, a ver dónde lo van a ir a perder. Because he wanted to go to Metro Centro and the bus didn't pass by Metro Centro. So he was lost already. So that's it. Questions that we use in cities, in places, okay, to ask for some information. That's it. Yesterday, um, we started with this topic and today we will finish the topic, okay, but obviously we have to refresh our memory okay with this um topic i will present okay uh, the, this is guys uh this is um i i am going to present here more phrases i remember uh, yesterday uh, carla marroquin or wendy i don't remember ask about different phrases okay yesterday we asked could you tell me okay could you tell me do you happen to know can you tell me? May I know? But I hear um, I'm sharing extra or extra phrases that you can use. It says here are some of the most common phrases used for asking indirect questions. Okay. For example, the number one. Hey, Carlita Yanes, welcome to the class. 
Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, very good. Carlita, can you please help me to read the, the phrases? Okay. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you know? Very good. Continue. Can, could you tell me? Very good. Do you happen to know? Mm -hmm. I wonder, was mm -hmm. wondering. Okay, this one, the number, the number four is new. I wonder, this is like, me pregunto. I was wondering, me estaba preguntando. Okay, this is another expression that you can use. Continue, please. Okay. I wonder if you'd mind tell me. Uh huh. Very good. I wonder if you would mind telling me. Me pregunto si te importaría decirme. Okay, that is the expression, right? The number, the number five, guys, is very, very polite. Okay. I wonder if you would mind telling me. Okay, that's it. Me pregunto si usted le importaría decirme. Okay, for example, teacher, I wonder if you would mind telling me the topic from yesterday. Please. Todavía le ponen please at the end. Okay, so very formal. Continue, Carlita, please. Would, would you mind telling me? Uh huh. Next. Can I ask? Can I ask? Next. May I ask you? Very good. Next. I'd like to know. I'd like to know. Okay, very good. You can use these expressions, right? Okay, not only the ones that I told you yesterday, but this one. So, my friends, here, this is what we are studying. And right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share with you, okay, um, you know, some... Uh, I want to share with you some... Uh, well, a video, and this video is practically the summary, okay, of what we studied yesterday. The idea, the idea to play this is to, um, to refresh, okay, to refresh our memory of what we did yesterday. If you have a question with this topic, let me know, because then you're going to practice with your partners, okay? I'm going to play the video. You can please turn on your speakers, or if you have your earphones, then you are going to listen to it, okay? Let's watch it for a moment. This is a review, class review from yesterday. And indirect questions in English from EspressoEnglish.net. Direct questions are the normal questions that we can ask friends, family members, and people who we know well. For example, where is the bathroom? Indirect questions are a little more formal and polite. We use them when talking to a person we don't know very well, or in professional situations. For example, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Here are some common phrases used for indirect questions. Could you tell me? Do you know? I was wondering. Do you have any idea? I'd like to know. Would it be possible? Is there any chance? There are a few grammatical changes with indirect questions. Let's look at some examples. Direct. Where is Market Street? Indirect. Could you tell me where Market Street is? In indirect questions, forms of the verb to be come after the subject. Direct. What time does the bank open? Indirect. Do you know what time the bank opens? In indirect questions, we don't use the auxiliary verbs do, does, or did. And notice that the word open in the direct question becomes opens in the indirect question. Here's another example, this time in the past. Direct. Why did you move to Europe? Indirect. I was wondering why you moved to Europe. Again, we don't use the auxiliary verb did. And, did you move in the direct question becomes, you moved in the indirect question. Here's one in the present perfect. Direct. How has he managed to get in shape so quickly? Indirect. Do you have any idea how he's managed to get in shape so quickly? In indirect questions in the present perfect, the auxiliary verb has or have is moved to after the subject. 
Direct. How much does this motorcycle cost? Indirect. I'd like to know how much this motorcycle costs. Again, in indirect questions, we don't use the auxiliary verb does. Also, cost becomes costs. You can see that this indirect question is not even really a question. It is more of a statement that invites the other person to answer. Direct. Can you finish the project by tomorrow? Indirect. Would it be possible for you to finish the project by tomorrow? For direct questions with can, we can use would it be possible in the indirect question. Direct. Can we change the meeting to Thursday? Indirect. Is there any chance we could change the meeting to Thursday? Is there any chance is another option for forming indirect questions with can. If the direct question is a yes or no question, meaning it has no question word such as what, who, when, where, why, or how, then the indirect question will have if. Okay, we're going to stop here because this is other part of K of indirect questions, okay, with, uh, with yes, no uh, statements in this case, okay, yes, no questions with if. Okay, which well, just to refresh your memory, okay, with the verb be, we mentioned that the verb be has to be at the end of the sentence. When you use the auxiliars do or does, you don't have to mention do and does, you delete it, right? But you have to add the letter S to the verbs, right? And with can, we just switch, okay, the model, okay? Can I, okay, it says I can, can she? she can, etc., etc. okay? Here, my friends, I'm going to present, okay? Uh, I sent uh, this yesterday to your WhatsApp group, okay? Uh, there are, um, I'm checking right now my WhatsApp to corroborate. Okay, everybody has these questions, right? Okay, in your WhatsApp group, okay? There are seven, seven uh, questions, right? And what I want you to do is to use them, you know? Okay, change them, okay? With uh, using the information, the same information, but using indirect questions, right? Um, this is going to be the, 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 the practice right now. This is written. You can practice with your partner right now. And then um, I will ask you to give me the answers orally, but with other questions, okay? The idea, as I said yesterday, is to practice orally, okay? This. Try to make the questions in your mind, okay? Uh, accept the invitation right now, please. You are going to work in pairs right now. And uh, uh, then we're going to check the answers together. I will give you about like maybe maximum seven minutes to finish this task. Ahí está escrito, do you know where, pero podríamos cambiarlo, ¿verdad? You can change it, Carlita. Very well. You can use other expressions, too, ¿ok? Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, podría decir, can you tell me? Yes. Can you tell me where's... Where's bus stop? The nearest, creo yo, ¿verdad? Do you know where, uh, where nearest where? bus stop is? Ah, ok. Eh, sería, can you tell me? Uh -huh. Where? Ne nearest bus stop is? 
where where the nearest oh ma where the nearest so where need where the nearest stop is i think yeah is okay okay number two what's the best way to see the city okay well, do you know what the best way to see the city is? Do you know? Uh huh. Okay. Do you? Okay. Do you know? You? This. No, this a. Uh, would you like, would you, no, but we can use, do you know, or we can use, could you tell me? You can use other phrases too, okay? Not just the one that is okay. provided. Okay. Mm -hmm. so yes. We can, use, we can use, could you tell me? Could okay. you tell me what, what, okay. Okay. Number three. Number three um, is uh, do you know where uh, where can I rent a bicycle? Yes or no? Hello? Yeah. Can you repeat it? Do you know where mm -hmm. can I rent a bicycle? Remember that when you have can, you have to invert it. Oh, can I? No, can I is the question. Can I is the question. Now you have to invert it. Okay, do you know where I can? Excellent, the very good. Uh-huh, exactly. Mm -hmm. But I have a, 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 I have a question. Uh-huh, ask how, me, Carlita. How, how can be the number two because there are two verbs? Let me check. It says, what is the best way to see the city? Yes? Yes. You have the verb to be and the verb see, right? right? In this case, Carlita, you have to pay attention to the first one. Okay. Okay. The, the, the second one, ignore it. Okay? I mean, you have, to, you have to mention it, but you don't have to worry about having two or three verbs. You just pay attention to the first one, okay? So it can be, could you tell me what the best way to see the city is? Exactly. Ah, You're okay. right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the number three was like, uh, like, uh, do you help. know? Is, is, do you know where can I rent a bicycle? Can you repeat, please, Caribel? Do you know where I can uh -huh. rent a bicycle? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Number four. Um, number four. Do you happen to know where I can get a, a student discount on a map? 
No, the, the, that, that is number five. Oh, oh, como dice, que donde puede conseguir un descuento para estudiantes? Do you happen to know? Mm -hmm. You can use okay. that. Do you happen to know? Yes, it's. Uh -huh. Do you happen to know where I can get? Where I can get. Uh -huh, exactly. Uh, a certain discount on a meal. But the number four, we didn't. We didn't do it. You didn't do it. <laughs> okay, do, do the it. number four. Uh -huh, do the number four. Um, Okay. Number five. The number five. May I may I know how much is the city tour cost? Pay attention because this uh, the, the the sentence has an auxiliar. Thus. So, uh -huh, remember, I told you that when you find an auxiliary in the, in the question, you have to delete the auxiliary. Remember, when you see an auxiliary in the sentence, do or does, you don't have to mention the auxiliary in the indirect question. You have to delete the auxiliary. And in the number four, how much does a city tour cost? What is the auxiliary, Claribel? Is, I don't remember. The auxiliary, what is the auxiliary, Carlita, in the number four? Uh, the auxiliary is does. Does, exactly. So, cuando hagan el, la indirecta, no tienen que decir, do you know how much does a city tour cost? No. Acuérdense esa regla, right? Cuando ocupen do y das, lo quitan. Y le agregan una S al verbo cuando sea das. ¿Ok? Try okay. to make it. Try to make it. Mm -hmm. I will come back in a second to check your answers. Almost May. finished. I know. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Miss. How are you? How are you? Ready? I'm fine. Okay. How Excellent. are you? I'm pretty good. Pretty nice to see, to see you today. Okay, very nice. Eduardo Calita, did you finish? Yeah, yeah, the last one. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. The last one is uh oh the 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 the, the, the number six. Do you know what time the museums 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 open? Uh huh. And the seven. Do you do you know where I can hear live music? Live music. Live. Uh huh. Live, live music. Uh, live music. Live music. But uh -huh. the change is uh, can and and uh, where do you know where I can. Uh -huh. Here. You invert the position. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. When did okay. you have the questions in your hands? No. No. I don't know. I don't know what are you doing. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. Let's see. Again. Let's see, Wendy. I'm going to share with you the questions, okay? Can you see okay. the questions here, Wendy? Yes? Uh, yes. Okay. Now, Wendy, what you have to do is to give me the answer for uh, making this uh, indirect, uh, direct questions to indirect questions, right? You can use, do you happen okay. to know? Do you know? Can you tell me? Could you tell me? Okay, may I know? Etc. Etc. Carlita and Eduardo uh -huh. finished the exercise, but okay, okay, let me check if you can do them. <laughs> okay, for example, okay. the number two. What's the best way to see the city? 
uh, we have to use the, the examples that from yesterday. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Do you happen to uh, know? Do you know? Can you tell me? Can you tell me what uh, the best way to see the city? Mm -hmm. No. Correct or incorrect? What do you think, Carla Yanes? <laughs> um, the position of is. Ah, very good, Carlita. Uh -huh. when do you remember, position? Wendy? The verb to be, Wendy. Uh -huh. It's at the end, remember. The word is. Uh, to finish at the, the question end. at the end at the end in the question, the question. Uh -huh. yes. okay. can you can you tell I'm me confused. That's it. can you tell me uh, what, the best way what what the best way uh-huh to to see the city uh -huh. in the end. Y at the end, what do you put there? You put there the verb to be. Aquí está el verbo to be, mire. Uh -huh. What is, or what? Yeah. What is the okay. best way to see the city? Can you, Can you tell Michelle, me? The best way to see the, see the city? Is. Is. Ajá, sin miedo. Ajá, that's it. Okay. Lo que eh, I don't know. I, <laughs> I, I'm a little confused. I remember. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, the, 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 the topic, uh, the topic, sorry. The verb to be, siempre que encuentre un verbo to be, okay, eh, lo va a poner al final. Por ejemplo, el número uno. Okay. Mira, mira el número uno. Number one. Where is the nearest bus stop? Va el verbo to be, entonces el verbo to be va a ir at the end. Can you make it, Wendy? Do you know where? The nearest bus stop is. Ajá, very good. Mira la number three. Ya no tiene is, pero tiene can. And I said that with can, what you have to do is to invert. Eh, do you know? Where I can rent a bike, rent a bicycle. Excellent, very good. Uh huh. Number four. I remember that. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Do you remember the number four? Con do it as. Um. I'm not. Ah, yes. We okay. have to add it. Uh -huh, to... to the verb, and you delete the auxiliary. Uh huh. Okay, go ahead. Uh, can you tell me how much a uh, city tour costs? Excellent. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. That is what they were doing. Okay. They were doing okay. this, uh, this practice together. Right now, guys, we are going to come back to the main session and we are going to share, okay, the answers together. Let's compare the answer with Claribel and Carla too. Okay. Let's see. Let's come back. Okay. okay. Okay, guys, well, okay, you already have your answers. I will ask for uh, participations, right? Okay, um, your participation for giving me the answer for each uh, question. There are seven. We are, today we are one, two, three, four, five participants. So I think two people are going to participate two times, okay? Let's start with the number one, Claribel. This is for you. Claribel, give me the answer for question number one. For number two is Carla Yanes, okay? Mm -hmm. Question number three is for Eduardo. Question number four is going to be for Carla Marroquín. Question number five is going to be for Wendy, okay? Question number six and seven, we are, well, you asked for, for participation, right? Number one, Claribel. Okay. Do you know 
where is where is the nearest bus stop? Okay. Can you please repeat the answer? Do you know mm -hmm. where is where is nearest near bus stop? Nearest. Nearest. Bus stop. Okay, what, what, what do you think? Okay, somebody else can tell me if the, if the answer is correct or it has some problems. No, the best to do is at the, at the end. I'm sorry? The verb to be uh -huh. uh, is end, at the end. At the end, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, can you please give me the, the answer, Eduardo? Do you know where the dearest bus stop is okay very good remember claribel the verb to be is at the end do you know where the nearest bus stop is okay that's it okay check it please in your in your in your notes please okay correct the mistake number two could you tell me what the best way to see the city is excellent very good would you tell me what the best way to see the city is? Excellent. Number three. Uh, would you mind tell me, telling, telling me? Telling me, excellent. Telling me, do you mind telling me where I can rent a bicycle? Excellent, very good, excellent. Where I can, lo que hago es esto, eh? invert, okay? Where I can rent a bicycle, very good. Number four. May I know how much a city tour costs? Excellent, perfect, okay. Do you know or do, uh, uh, may I know how much a, to a city tour costs? Okay, excellent. Number five. Um, do you know where I can get a student discount on a meal? Yeah, great, yeah, great, 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 great. Do you know where I can? Remember, we have to invert, right? Where I can get a student discount on a meal. Okay, very good. Next, please, a volunteer for number six. Extra do point. Ah, Claribel. <laughs> do you happen to know where I can get a student discount, discount and meal? On a meal. Okay, number six, Claribel. Six. Oh, number six. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, could you tell me what time the music opens? Okay, very good, very good. Uh, no sé si escuché yo opens or open. Opens. Con S. Yes. Okay, quítele la S. ¿Por qué razón, teacher? Porque si aquí dijera das, usted le pone ah, la S, okay. remember. Pero como dice do, the verb is in the original form, okay? okay That's it. Teacher. So can Thank you please you. repeat the answer, Claribel? Okay. Could you tell me what time the museum open? Okay, very good. Great, great. What time the museum open? Uh -huh. Very good. Number seven, somebody else, other volunteer? you have any idea where I can hear live music? Live. Live, excuse mm -hmm. me, live. <laughs> live music, okay, very good. Where I can, very, very, very well, okay? Let's see, Other uh, the other part of the exercise is this one, guys, but you have to do it orally, okay? Here with me, that's it. Uh, Eduardo, this is for you, number one. Carla Yanes. For you is the number two. Wendy, number three. Carla Marroquín, number four. Claribel, okay. number six. Okay. No, number five, Claribel. Number five. Okay, number five. Okay, remember, the verb to be is at the end. Do, does, delete the auxiliar. Does, add the letter S. Can, you invert the position. There we go. Right? Well, in this case, it says right, but we have to speak it, okay, orally. Okay, indirect questions using these WH questions. Then let's compare. Okay, well, right now we're going to do it here, okay, 
if there is a mistake, uh, if you know the answer, well, you can help us, right? Number one, Eduardo, read the, 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 the direct question and then the indirect. Uh, the, right, the right question is how much does the bus, the, the bus cost? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Uh, could you tell me how much the bus costs? Excellent. Uh -huh. Very good. Could you tell me how much the bus costs, right? With S at the end, right? Because we have the auxiliar does here. Very good. Number two, Carlita. Number two, do you know where the nearest internet cafe is? Coffee is? Cafe. Cafe is? Uh -huh. can, can you please repeat? Do you know where the nearest internet cafe is? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Number three, Wendy. Um, uh, do you... Can you tell me what time uh, the bank opens? Okay, perfect, perfect. Can you tell me what time the banks open? Very good, you delete the auxiliary. Carla Marroquin, your turn, number four. Okay, uh, can you tell me how late the buses run? Uh-huh, great, very good. Can you tell me how late the buses run? Uh-huh, perfect. Claribel, number five, please. Do you know where I can get quick meal? Yeah, perfect. Very good, very good, guys. Okay, can you tell me where I can get a quick meal? Okay, good. Number six, somebody else, volunteer, virtual candy. Who knows? Is okay. this okay? Yeah, that's who okay. Knows, who knows how late the nightclubs stay open? Open. Aha, uh -huh. okay, very good. You delete the do, okay? Yeah, very I delete good. It. Excellent, very good. Number seven. How do early? Happen, mm -hmm. uh, do you happen to know how early the trains run? Uh huh. Perfect. Okay. Run. Uh huh. How early the trains run? Okay. Great. Excellent. Number eight. Other volunteer. Do you happen to know where an inexpensive hotel in this area is? Excellent. Very good. Very good, guys. Okay. Do you happen to know where an inexpensive hotel in this area is? Okay, very, very, very nice, okay? This, uh, guys, okay, it's, okay, the, 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 the practice, okay, that we have related to, related to indirect, okay, uh, questions. As I said, it is more formal, okay? For example, Eduardo, you are married, you have your wife, a su esposa le va a decir, what is your wife's name, Eduardo? Xiomara. Xiomara? Yeah. Okay, so you say, Xiomara, where is the, where is the fool? Because Xiomara is your wife, is your friend, a person you know for many, many, many years. My best friend. Your best friend, exactly. So it's obvious that you give a direct, a direct question, right? That's it, it's obvious. You use direct questions with your friends, with people you know very well, okay, uh, with uh, relatives, with your mom, etc. Uh, but the other kind of questions that we just learn are the ones that you have to use to be polite. Es para gente que uno no conoce, okay? Que en la calle vaya y le diga a Carlita, al señor del pan, este... Deme un dólar de pan. <ríe> no sé, suena muy pesado, ¿no? Uno llega y le dice, buenas tardes, este, ¿me puede vender pan, por favor? Right? No sé, un poco más amable. Eso es las indirect questions. Okay? Or, or teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. or, or when 
when we are with uh, a people very important. Important, exactly. Like, uh, for like our, your, our boss. Your boss, you know, for example, the, the, I don't the know. Police, police officers. Police officers. <gasps> Let me tell you, let me let me tell you one experience that I had with the police officers because sometimes we consider that police officers are just like ah, I don't care, right? No. I was driving my car and for a reason they stopped me, right? <laughs> I was <laughs> I was very fast. <laughs> and so nice. say, yeah, no, I was speeding. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, and they they made the sign, yeah, you know, to pull over, so I was there. And they said, uh, good afternoon, miss. Yo no sé cómo. Yo no soy así, pero no sé. Le, lo volteo a ver y le digo, sí, sí. Ya, ya, ya sé lo que me van a pedir. Ay, and the man look at me and he said, salgase del carro. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I said. This is the police. What? It's not my friend. Ajá, it's, it's the police. So we need to show respect. So, si yo le hubiera dicho, oh, yeah, mister, okay, no problem. From that moment on, guys, saben, me puse una esquela. Uh -huh. My goodness. The man was maybe not in a good day, but I was very impolite too. So, from now on, from, from that day on, when I arrived to the gas station, for the security guards, for all the people, I try to be very polite because I understand that they are doing just their job. And obviously, if they are the security, you know, we have to respect them. Uh, for example, in the mornings when I arrive to my work, I always say, hi, good morning, mister, how are you? And say, muy bien, señorita, pase. Okay, very nice. So I feel like very comfortable, you know, being like this. So what I'm trying to say is that these questions, siempre cuando usted me quiera preguntar algo a mí, ah, teacher Iris, I'm, I'm, with me, no problem, guys. Pregúnteme, teacher. When is exam? No sé, algo así, right? Okay, no problem, because you can ask direct questions. Pero si no, pues diga, it is. Do you know when the exam is? Okay. Or, be fair, cuando terminan las clases, right? Uh -huh. You ask me, right? And you say, teacher, do you happen to know where the classes finish? Right? Okay, so to practice, okay, indirect questions. That's it. Just for finishing the practice today, guys, I want you to um, I want you to check, okay, and, and, and the speakers, okay, because we're gonna do the listening practice for today. Uh, Carlita Yanes, you're gonna help me to read the instructions, okay? The only thing you have to do here is to tell me if the answer is true or false. Go ahead, Carlita, read the instructions. Are you here, Carlita? Uh, yes, teacher, yes. I'm okay. here. Very good. Okay, can you read the instructions, please? Listen to a resident of Singapore talk about how his city has tried to solve its traffic problems. Mm -hmm. Check through or false for it statement. Statement, so okay, very good. True or false, for example, the number one, okay. Uh, Carla Marroquin, can you please read the, the five statements? Motorists can mm -hmm. drive into the business dis district. District. Mm -hmm. They need a pass to drive there. Okay, uh -huh. this is the example that, like the correct information. Con continue with the number two. Number two, people need a special certificate to buy a car. To buy a car, uh huh. Number three, there are enough certificates for everyone. For everyone, very good. Next, cars are more expensive than in North America. Mm -hmm. In Singapore, right? Uh huh. Number five. Public transportation isn't very good. Okay, this is the only thing that we're gonna do, guys. Listen to this exercise and tell me if the answer is true or false. Thank you. 
Can you listen? No. Right now? No. Can you listen? No. 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 Ah, okay, let me check. Okay, I need to share my computer sound with you. Okay. Helps it. Part A. Yes. Listen yes. to a resident okay. of Singapore Very talk good. about how his city has tried to solve its traffic problems. Check true or false for each statement. Singapore has done a lot to try to solve its traffic problems. For example, to drive into the downtown business district, motorists need to buy a special pass. They can go into the business district only if they have the pass on their windshield. Another thing Singapore has done is to make it more difficult to buy cars. People have to apply for a certificate before they can buy a car. Not everyone can get a certificate. There's a limited number of them. There's also a high tax on cars, so a new one costs a lot of money. A car can cost three or four times more in Singapore than in the U.S. or Canada. The other thing Singapore has done is build an excellent public transportation system. Their subway system is one of the best in the world. And there's also a very good taxi and bus system. Second time. Page 9, exercise is 4. Listening. Z. Part A. Listen to a resident of Singapore talk about how his city has tried to solve its traffic problems. Check true or false for each statement. Singapore has done a lot to try to solve its traffic problems. For example, to drive into the downtown business district, motorists need to buy a special pass. They can go into the business district only if they have the pass on their windshield. Another thing Singapore has done is to make it more difficult to buy cars. People have to apply for a certificate before they can buy a car. Not everyone can get a certificate. There's a limited number of them. There's also a high tax on cars, so a new one costs a lot of money. A car can cost three or four times more in Singapore than in the U.S. or Canada. The other thing Singapore has done is build an excellent public transportation system. Their subway system is one of the best in the world. And there's also a very good taxi and bus system. Okay, very nice. Okay, this is about Singapore, okay, and the city, right? It's what well, the number one is done already. Number two, it says people need a special certificate to buy a car. What do you think, guys? Is it true, true. or false? True. 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 Okay. true. Very good. Excellent. It's true. Number three, there are enough certificates for everyone. Okay. Yeah, what false. do you think? False. Eduardo? False. 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 Ah, there aren't enough certificates for everyone. It's difficult to get one, by the way. Okay, very good. So imagine in Singapore, guys. So it's a, in El Salvador, now everybody can get a license, right? The only thing you need is a car and money to get the, 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 the license. But in Singapore, they have special certificates, right? Number four, Wendy, Wendy Moreno, number four. Cars are more expensive than in, the, in North America. I believe it's true. It's true, okay. The tax is very expensive, okay. That's it. So that's why in, in, in Singapore, there, uh, well, there are cars, but not everybody has one, okay? It's a little difficult to get one because they are very, very expensive, okay? Three, three more expensive. I, 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 I yes, have... three times more expensive. <laughs> Can you imagine? This, and no, no, like uh, maybe from this year, right? Maybe from 2000, okay? So, number five, public transportation isn't very good. Carlita Yanes, what do you think? Yeah, uh, false. It's false, okay? What mm -hmm. did the person say about the, the public transportation? It's very good. Yeah, it's very good. It's the best in the world. 
the best in the world in Singapore, mostly the the subway system, right? Subway system. Exactly, and the buses and the taxis are very well. Exactly, okay, very, very good. That's it. So, uh, well, with this uh, part, we are um, completing, okay, section number two, talking about the city, okay, uh, using uh, expressions of quantity, as you remember, uh, uh, fewer, less, more, enough, okay, those quantities, countable, and countable nouns, and also we spent two days, okay, learning how to make, it, well, direct questions, okay, change into indirect questions, okay? When are you gonna use the indirect questions? Well, whenever you have a, a situation uh, of formality, okay? Uh, you have to show your politeness, okay, to someone who you don't know very well or you respect too much, okay? That's it. My friends, continue doing the, the sections, okay? Un día de esto vamos a ver, voy a pedirles que me manden una foto a ver hasta dónde están las secciones, right? Section number one. Con esto pues ya pueden empezar o terminar section number two. And tomorrow we start section number three. Porque después de este se acerca el, después de esto se acerca el midterm, okay? Hay un, un examencito ahí que es un tipo... Okay, in medio de, del curso, okay, the midterm. So remember, you have to start doing it. Para qué? Para que al final no estemos ahí corriendo, que no lo he terminado, etc., etc. Okay, so let's do it every single day, one exercise, so you can practice more and more. Questions? Claribel, Carlita, Marroquín, no? Carla no, Yanes, no, no, Wendita, no. Eduardo, no questions? Well, my pleasure, guys, as always, my pleasure to be with you. Thank you very much for being so nice and punctual to my classes, okay? That's it. Okay. I will see you tomorrow, right? Okay. Have a nice afternoon. Bye. 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 Bye.